This is the most chilled you are about to see me for the length of this whole video. We're in Quebec City in Canada right now. I'm about to play at a huge festival, which I'm headlining. And then we're going to do an after party in the city. And then we're going to get on a private jet, which is going to take us to the Hamptons. From there, we're going to play a private party. And then we're going to take another private jet back to New York City, play a huge sold out headline show in Brooklyn. From there, we're going to take another private jet back to the Hamptons. Then we're going to take a helicopter back to New York, take another flight back to London and be in bed at home on Monday morning. Let's get into it. Check this out. Not one, but two jerseys with hype on the back. Now I love Canada, but they always give me these hockey jerseys and the sleeves are just outrageous. They, I can't DJ with sleeves on like that. So I'll just put it on and wait, wear it for a minute and then take it back off again. Anyway, we are here, uh, Unity Festival and Bob Sinclair is playing right now. Let's go to the stage, let's do this. It's a nine for me. The people were amazing. The energy was amazing, but the stage was too tall. Sometimes when you're too far away from the people, you can't really feel the connection. But that was a, that was a really special show. Just wish I was like three meters lower. <laughs> it's a fucking big stage. Anyway, we're going straight to the after party. I'm wearing my jersey. I'm really tired. And let's go play some like underground tunes or something. Everybody gets a hand up. Imagine getting stuck in there now. <laughs> oh no, it's gone stuck. Oh, what? Oh. It's not gonna go. Oh, I'll give him this. You got a pen? When we came past this hotel room door before, the person had a sign on the door and a t shirt that said something funny and they wanted me to sign it, but now it's gone, so I'm gonna sign this and give it to him. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Hi. It's like a whole last coffee maker, baby. First time in the Hamptons for all of us. We've just come in on this plane and the houses are wild. So we're here to do this private party today and the client has flown us in on a private jet and is flying us out on a private jet for the party. So that gives you an idea of how important of an event this is for them. And we've just got to make sure that we rock up and give them all the fun that they want. And it should be, it should be good. It should be good. It's a bit different for me. Obviously I'm used to playing nightclubs and festivals and stuff. So today, yeah. We're doing a party in someone's actual house. I'm hoping the house is impressive, but I don't want to invade on anyone's privacy too much. So we'll find out if we can film once we're inside. But yeah, we should have some pretty cool stuff to show you. Welcome to the Hamptons. This is the Secret Service. Hi, how are you doing? How are you? Good, thank you. Thank you. So we're in the guest house, just getting ready to uh, go to the main bit of the party, but it's really nice in here. It's rushed, don't worry. 
Is that a golf course? I think that's a private golf course. Oh, so this is a 55th birthday party. Wallace is going to show you around the whole party while I play. And um, honestly, you've got to see this. It's crazy. Right, so James is playing right now, and I thought I'd show you around this house. Um, the amount of effort that's gone into this birthday party is wild. Um, I'm going to get a few clips and show you how much effort has gone into this. It's, um, if I was to describe it, it's like something you'd see on My Sweet 16 on MTV. It's, it's pretty mad. But yeah, this house is fucking beautiful. And um, there's a lot of people here and they're all going for it. A lot of hype fam. Um, so it's really cool. Yeah, they've got a golf course. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, Tita and I are gonna go uh, raid the buffet. Tita land. Tita land. <laughs> Right, I've been on my walk. Um, as you can see, they got food, free bar, everything. Like, it's I, I actually can't go over it. Like, although it's a birthday party, it's it's mad. Um, one thing I will say, the production here is better than some nightclubs we've been to. So, nightclubs fix up. Anyway, James got about an hour left, so we're just gonna chill, and then we are on the way to sound check for our house, New York. Um, it's a hectic one. We're gonna go on a helicopter. I'll let James explain the rest in a minute. You go there, bro. Um, some takeaway food that they gave me. Everyone else managed to eat. I didn't. Where are we going now? <laughs> How bad is it? It looks so New York. Hello, New York. This is massive. Yes. This is for, oh, wow, it's Ferrari massive. being certified gold in the US. Oh. Half a million copies sold. This is so sick. Congrats. Wow. It's amazing. I've been really excited to give this to you. This, this might be the coolest one that I've got, I, you know. I really, like, <laughs> so I really thought that we would go to the hotel before coming to this second show, but just the way things worked out, we came straight from the plane to here. So I actually haven't showered and I sweated a lot at the first show, but I did change my clothes. It's got to count for something. Anyway, there's like 5,000 people out there and Tita's playing right now and I'm about to go on continue this epic day. That was, I mean, my energy doesn't say it was sick. I've been sat down for like 20 minutes, which was a bad move, but the set was incredible. And now I've just got to wake myself up one more time to do back to back. Let's go. Thank 
man. All right, who's in the debrief? Debrief! Debrief, yes. debrief, debrief. Yes, can debrief. I take my boy Mike? Debrief, of course your boy Mike. Mike, Mike! De de debrief is ecstasy <laughs> going number one on B-Port. That's the yeah. yeah. track. All right, rate the show out of 10. 10! 10! 10! It's a fucking 10, yeah. It's a 10 for me. I'll chat to you in a minute. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, whatever freaking time it is. We are at the helicopter port. Uh, got about five hours sleep. I'm fucked, but it's okay because tonight we're going home back to London. So right now we're boarding a helicopter to back to the Hamptons to play at a place called Surf Lodge, which is kind of like, a, I think it's like a day club or something. Let's do this. He always does this. He has a really long phone call where he's like, no, no way, what? And I'm like, what, what, what happened? And then he won't tell me until he's off the phone. What do you think's happening? <laughs> Fucking no. This guy won't let us into the terminal though either. Hello? Don't want to let us in because the guy's yeah, just yeah. waxed the floor. <laughs> We've got to go around the other side. <laughs> so what's happening now? Because we're just in this helicopter centre. No. And there's no helicopters taking off to the Hamptons now. But the problem's that the Hamptons not here. Yeah. So... Um, and it's what it's like a four hour drive so even if we drive now we're too late fucking helicopters man it's not even bad weather looks nice I'd fly let me check what, what's, what's Google Maps saying let me check this out ah so on right here it says it says ignore your sat nav it will take four hours to drive <laughs> that's, that's the info they've put here four hours, seven minutes four, okay four and the set is in two hours So what is that is there like is there like another another helicopter company? Or is it is that just cool. Also, why is this place completely empty? Yeah, what the fuck? Why are we the only people? Because everyone knew. Because everyone knew that there isn't yeah. Apart from us. Apart from us. So what is that it? We're just going home. So the thing I'm not understanding, there's helicopters everywhere. And we've, we've been in this helicopter terminal for two hours. And um, the guy kicked us out because he said that they're closing. So now we're just stood here, still trying to get hold of someone who can fly us to the Hamptons. We spoke to the helicopter company. They said that the flight was canceled. And then someone else said that um, they were with the owner of the helicopter company who then said they had had no canceled flights. So it feels like we're being lied to. And I really don't want to let people down by not doing this fucking show because someone said that they can take us in a helicopter and then they can't. Um, I don't know, everyone's fucking angry on the phone. Some people even didn't believe that... Someone didn't believe that we'd that, that our helicopter was cancelled and they thought that we'd missed our flight or something. So it feels like people are pointing the finger at us for not being able to make it, but I think the helicopter company's letting us down here, so I'm going to keep you updated if we can get on a helicopter. Sorry, I'm waffling, but... Who fucking knows? So that is it. We officially can't make it. So this was supposed to be five shows in 48 hours. It turned into four shows and a fucking mess. I'm sorry to everyone who we've let down, but uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. Hopefully we'll be able to come back next summer. Um, my brand new single, Seven Seconds, is out right now. I'd appreciate if you can stream it and buy it on Beatport. Who does this? Transition. Seven seconds to the best, ain't got time for